Today, I'm going to show you how to make Byzantine chain mail. So the first thing you need is, you need a bunch of open rings, okay? A bunch of open rings, and then you need to make two and two. See, there's just two rings that loop into two other rings, okay? Hopefully you can see that. And then, so you want to make a bunch of those ahead of time. Then you want to make a chain like this. Okay, just a normal chain that's four. This is going to be just to hold on to it. To make those two and two, I usually start with two closed rings. Then I take an open ring and I slip it through those two rings. So then you got a one and two. Okay, or two and one. Okay, so then you want to take another ring that's open and slip it through those same two. Okay. So, once you have a bunch of these, I have like six of them or so set out, then you can get started. Basically what the Byzantine looks like is this right here. So it's like three rings, a box type thing. That's how you do a box chain. So if you know how to do a box chain, this could be really easy. Three more rings, another box. And as you look at it, you see that these are opposite of each other. They point in opposite directions, and that's because of the rings. Okay, you take the chain that you made, you take an open ring or connector ring as some people call them and you loop it in through one of the end pieces or one of the end rings then you take one of your two and twos like so you take two of them and you slip them through like this onto the same ring so take the chain and it looks like this so you have five right here but on this one right here that connects to the two two set or the two and two you take another open ring you slip it through these two and then the same one that you had slipped it through before the one next to it like this okay so basically what you have now or what you should have by now is two here two here and two here okay so now you want to take another open ring and on the same one right here that connects to the chain in the two two set you add another jump ring or another connector ring so what you should have now is three rings here two rings here and two rings here okay so this is going to be the real beginning of this okay so now if you know how to do the box chain this part's going to be really easy so you take these two right here you flip them up like this so that they look like this then you want to open these rings right here open them up like this like you're opening up a purse okay then you want to take another open ring and you want to slip it through these two right here these two that you just flipped up and the opening ones you don't want to mess with the opening ones okay you just want to do these two right here that are inside okay ones inside you connect the ring to so that it looks like this the box like I showed you before this box right here okay before you close it up you want to take one of your other two two sets add that onto the same section okay then you want to close it up so now what you should have is the three rings here your chain here which is what you're holding on to your box right here if you flip it around, it's all the same, all the way around. Then you have a chain, or a, a ring here, that connects to the two two that you just added onto it. So now, what you do is where that one is, where you see the one right here, that connects the box to the two two. You want to take another ring, go through these two again. Okay, so the two two, okay. And then you want to connect it to those in the purse area. Remember what I said, open the purse? and then the stuff inside is what you want to grab okay so now what you should have is a box two 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 okay there's two two and two all right so now what you want to do is you want to take a third ring like you did here have a three set here and basically the reason for doing the three set is so that the box stays open or the purse stays open okay so you add another ring do the same two and the same two in the purse. Now what you should have 
is the three here. Okay, these three here. And then you have the box. Then another three here. Then you have your two and your other two. So then you would continue. And basically you just flip this up, like I said before, the stuff inside. Then you flip it, opening the purse, and then you want to grab what's inside. Okay? So you continue like that. Now you have a box here and a box here, and they're going in opposite directions. Okay. So then you add another 2-2 two -two set. Two and two rings. And then you have what you had before. The one ring, the box, the one ring, the two, and the two. Okay? So then you want to add another ring next to that other one. Like you did before. So now you're seeing that it's starting to take shape a little bit. So you want to add another third ring, like you did before, right back here, the same that you did before. And what you have now is three rings here, a box, three rings here, a box, three rings here, and then what comes next? Another box. So you just keep on doing this for as many sets as you made over here in your little pile, or as many jump rings as you have open. And you want to open up a lot of them. You want to have a lot of these rings open, because otherwise you'll find that you run out of rings pretty quick. And this is the speed weave way. I learned it from another user on YouTube. And if I can find his video again, I will link you to it. So basically now, you have a pattern. It's taking shape. Three rings, box, three rings, box, three rings, box. And then another three rings would come here, and then another box, and then you just keep on going. Okay, you can actually take this off later on when you get it as long as you want it which would probably be pretty long. Um, I'm actually making a necklace right now, so it's going to be extremely long. And you can actually make it into a continuous chain. So I actually have a chain that I've been working on. It's pretty long. So I'm going to show you now how you would do that if you were connecting it all the way around. So that's a continuous loop, okay? So now I've got these three at the end here that I started with that had the chain connected and I took the chain off. Then you have the two two right here at the end of it. Okay. So then what you want to do is you want to first, the easiest way to do this is to open up the purse first. So flip them up like before. Open it up. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up some rings here. Actually, I'll start with the outside first, because that'll probably be the easiest. So now I've got the open purse, like so. You want to make sure that it goes, that it's not twisted too overly much, okay? And you want to connect them. So take one of the rings that you opened up from the three set, and you want to connect it like before. Only this time you're connecting it end to end of the necklace, okay? Then you want to connect it to the same pur purse area as before. You should have two here, like this, that are not connected yet. So you want to open up the next one that's right next to this one, the one that you just connected. Okay? Then you would continue and you would connect the other one. And then it'll be a continue, a continued necklace that goes all the way around. So now you should have a box chain. Well, it's a box Byzantine chain. It's got boxes in it, like you were making a box chain. It's just a box chain. And they call it a box chain because it's square on this side, square on this side, square on this side, and square on the last side, okay? So that's a box chain. Now you see, looking at this and looking at that, right there, you can see that the sim they're very similar. They're exactly the same. Hopefully you know how to do that now. From before, I'll show you this again. The box chain, how I started it. The Byzantine chain, excuse me. So now you have... The three rings, box, three rings, box, and it just continues on, and you just keep adding on to it. Have fun making chain mail, and hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Fucking subscribe.